Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video I thought we would do my empties for May. Um, it's not quite the end of May yet, but it's pretty close and the trays get a bit full so I just thought I'll do my empties now. Yeah, well I've got time. So this is my empty tray for May. Pretty full, like you can see. Uh, there's quite a lot of miniatures this month as well, I'm trying to turn it around without things falling over. Um, yeah, I've just tried to get through a lot of miniatures. I'm conscious that advent calendar season is coming pretty soon, so got to make some space. So yeah, I'm just going to dive into everything that I've used. Um, like always, I haven't used all of these in one entire month. Sometimes it's taken me a fair few months to get through, um, but they've all become empty this month. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about each of the products, whether I liked them, whether I didn't like them, whether I'd repurchase them, and yeah, just what I thought of them really. So if you are interested to see what I've used, then please keep watching. Also give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And yeah, let's dive into it. So first of all, I'm just going to start with masks, like usual. Oh my goodness, they're all falling over. Okay, so I haven't used as many masks this month. Okay, so the first one is from Beauty Pro. This is the Herb Infused Sheet Mask. This is one of the biodegradable bamboo sheet masks. It's part of their plant-based range and it's really nice. I think I have at least one Beauty Pro mask every single month. Um, and I always like them, I always use them. And yeah, they're just great to have in. Really nice, um, nice and saturated as well. There's lots of serum there. I always re get them. Um, I tend to get them a lot in boxes, so I don't really need to buy them, but I always use them. Next one is the Beauty Pro Retinol Under Eye Masks. So there's a pack of, well, it's two masks in here. Uh, I think these were in last month's as well, or the ones before. I do get these quite often in boxes. Um, I really like them. I don't really think you can see results immediately because obviously with retinol it takes time. But I like to think that they're working and I just, I really like using under eye masks regularly. Um, the other under eye masks I've used are from Starskin VIP, this gold eye mask. These are really nice, they're a little bit different. So these are like, they feel like material once you've stuck them on, like when you touch them they feel like a material. Whereas these ones were like the gold kind of metallic ones. A bit like one I've used before, I can't remember the brand of it though. Um, but yeah, these were also really nice, so yeah. I, I really like eye masks. Um, so yeah, those are the only sheet masks that I've actually used this month. Other kind of masks. I have finished this mud mask. So this is the Grace and Stella uh, face mask, Dead Sea Mud Mask. So this has taken me months to get through. This is the one that I like to put on when I'm in the bath. Sit there with a nice face mask on. So as you can see, that's what it looks like inside. Um, and yeah, I really like this. I feel like with this mask, if ever my skin is just not very happy, um, I can put this on and like, when you wipe it off, my skin just looks amazing. It just feels like I just press refresh and it just it just looks amazing. It feels amazing. It's not drying. It doesn't make it feel tight. Um, so yeah, I wash my face, then use this, and then afterwards go in with my serums and moisturisers and I love it. So yeah, I would definitely get this one again. Um, next I'm going to move on to the Bondi Sands one um, that I've just received, so I'm going to try that one out first, but this is definitely one I would look out for in a future box, and I really recommend that if you're looking for a mud mask. Okay, I think that's actually it for masks. Okay, so let's start with hair stuff then. So the first thing that I'm going to pull out is this dry shampoo from Colab. This is the Overnight Renew. This was in the Feel Unique gift with purchase, and I'm so glad that I actually got to try this because this I think this is one of my new faves. This is amazing. Um, it's a really, really nice dry shampoo. It smells fab. Um, it says it's an amazing overnight detox formula. So you're meant to put it in um, when you go to bed and then leave it overnight. And you'll have clean hair when you wake up. And yeah, I thought it worked well. I mean, quite often I'll put dry shampoo in at night and then the next day it just looks cleaner anyway. Um, but I really like this as far as dry shampoos go. I've no idea how much this is. Um, like I said, this was in a gift with purchase, but I would definitely look out for this again. I really, really like that. That was a fab dry shampoo. Okay, we've got a shampoo here. This is John Masters Naturals Daily Nourishing Shampoo with Citrus and Geranium. I think this was also in the Feel Unique gift we purchase. Um, but yeah, I used this up. I wasn't a massive fan of this. It was quite liquidy. So I don't know whether it's just not for my hair type. But it doesn't really give you any information on the packaging of like what kind of hair type you need to use this. But yeah, it just says nourishing shampoo. I used it. I wouldn't buy it again. I just I prefer a shampoo that's just a little bit thicker and I feel like I'm actually like using a shampoo. But yeah, I used it, it was fine. Um, next we've got this conditioner. This is the, it's all bunched up. This is the We Are Paradox 3-in-1 Conditioner Hair Mask and Finishing Cream. It's definitely finished. 
Um, I use this as a conditioner. I've not tried it as a hair mask or a finishing cream um, at all, but I really like it as a conditioner. It's just so difficult to get out, so I think there's probably a little bit left on the end, but yeah, in the shower it's just not really ideal and when your hands are wet, it's just, it's just annoying. Um, but yeah, I do really like this. It is a really, really nice conditioner and yeah, I've got another one. They keep just coming in boxes, so I'm happy with that because I like them. Oh, I've got another mask. I try to do it in order and then I always leave them out, but... Okay, the other mask that I've used is the Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Super Bounce Mask. This was in a glossy box last month, I think it was. Um, really, really nice brand. I only got one use out of this, so when I started squeezing it, it felt like it nothing came out until I was like halfway down. So, yeah, just don't think it's the best packaging. As a mask, it was nice. It only just covered my face with the amount that was actually in here, so it's supposed to be 10 grams. I don't know if it was 10 grams, but yeah. I didn't really see any results, but it was just one use, so I don't know, but... You know, as a brand, I really like these. I've tried the masks before and I've been happy with them. So I think I'd probably have to try it again to decide fully. But there was nothing bad to say about it. Just off one use. It was nice enough. Um, but yeah, I just think I need to try it a little bit more to be able to have an opinion, really. Okay, let's do body care. I've got quite a few body lotions, actually, um, that have become empty. So the first one is from The White Company. This is the Tuberose and Cashmere Body Lotion. This is a little miniature from the advent calendar. It is empty, it's just so difficult to get the last bit out. Um, obsessed with it. This is my new favourite scent from the White Company, so I'm hoping that they have this again in this year's calendar because it's just, oh, it's incredible. I'm using the shower gel at the moment. It's just so nice. Um, I really like these lotions as well because they, they soak in really, really quickly once you put them on. So you can get like dressed pretty quickly after a bath or a shower and they just smell amazing. They're quite lightweight, but my skin still felt nourished, so. Yeah, I really like this. 10 out of 10. Obsessed. Um, the other body lotions I've got are this one from Neon. The Perfect Night Sleep Magnesium Body Butter. Uh, this is nice. Um, I've compared this to the This Works Deep Sleep uh, Body Cocoon before and I think I still prefer that one. It's still a nice one. Um, the scent is a little bit strong. English Lavender, Sweet Basil and Jasmine. But yeah, it is nice enough. It's a nice like nourishing nighttime body butter so I mean it's a butter so it is thicker anyway it is nice I probably wouldn't buy this full size there's definitely other lotions and body butters I'd choose before this one but if I got it in a box again then I would still use it up another one I've used is the Kiehl's creme de corps well that's what it's called it's a body lotion Um, this is the 30ml one so it's only the miniature one Um, I've used this before this is nice again really nice lightweight soaks in fast it's just so difficult to get out of this bottle so this probably you know quite a lot still in there it's just impossible to get out so you, I stood it on its head um, and when I came to use it for the second time you have to really do this to get it out you can squeeze it but yeah it's just impossible to get the last few bits out so yeah packaging wise that's not great but overall as a moisturizer this was lush so yeah I would use it on again that'll probably be in some sort of calendars this year that tends to come in boxes I do like that one another body lotion is from Pacifica this is the lavender moon body lotion lavender rose and chamomile Relaxing Plant Powered Aromatherapy. This was in the Cult Beauty, was it the Sleep Box or Wellness Box or something? And this was huge. It actually didn't take as long to get through as I thought it would. Um, this again, quite a lightweight lotion. When you're rubbing it in, it kind of, you're thinking like it's not even going to soak in, just lingers on your body. Um, but then you just leave it and it does soak in. But yeah, really nice. Nice light scent. So it's it's like the nighttime kind of scent. So it's like the lavender it's not that strong though, so if you're not really a massive fan of like lavender scents, this is quite a nice gentle one. Um, I really like this. I would get this one again. And yeah, I'd like to see this in a box again or something, because it was just really, really nice. Um, it's also vegan and cruelty free. I love the packaging as well, the colour, and also the feel of it. It's like a matte kind of, kind of velvety packaging. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, that was such a nice body lotion. I've got another hair product. I'm so rubbish at this. Uh, this is the Mud Mask it Hair Mask Scalp Treatment and Miracle Shampoo 3 in 1 formula. This was in some sort of box. Um, now, this was in my draft ages because I just thought it was a mask, but when you read it, it says, Apply on wet hair and massage, it says message, <laughs> massage into the scalp and hair. Leave for about one minute and rinse thoroughly with water, gentle enough for daily use. So, I took that as, it's a mask, scalp treatment and miracle shampoo. So I can use it as shampoo, so I... I always do two shampoos and then a conditioner. Um, so I did my first shampoo, rinse it out, and then I used this um, and just left it for a minute. And I don't really have anything to say about it, really. It just wasn't, I have nothing wild to say about it. It just kind of, 
he massaged it into your scalp. It didn't really lather as such. So yeah, you used quite a lot when you used it. But yeah, I didn't really feel like it did much. Like it wasn't the best feeling of a shampoo. Like my hair didn't feel super clean after it. But I just don't know. It didn't really do much, so no. If I got it again, I'd use it just to use it up, but I wouldn't go out my way to buy that. Okay, next we've got the Neom Super Shower Power Body Cleanser. I love this. This has been in my empties before, um, and I've got another one in my shower at the moment. This smells so, so good. It's super refreshing. It is really, really nice. This is great for a morning shower just to wake you up. So it's spearmint, rosemary, and eucalyptus, and it's so good. Um, it lathers really nicely as well, and it's just amazing. I'm obsessed with this. This is so nice. Oh, yeah, really, really nice. I love that. So, yeah, I would definitely get this one again. It's quite pricey for a shower gel, so it, like the full size, but I think it's worth it because it smells so good. Uh, another shower gel slash bath, bubble bath, um, bubble bath, is the Molten Brown Neon Amber Bath and Shower Gel. So, obviously, it's empty. This was the kind of, like, burnt orangey kind of colour. I was using this as bubble bath because I've got so many shower gels at the moment to get through. Um, you can use this as bubble bath, so that's what I'm using it as. And this one was okay. So whenever I've unboxed Molten Brown products like this, um, and I smell them, they always smell really nice. I've not found one I don't like. But I, th I think this is probably at the bottom of my pile. Because it was nice enough, but when, when you're actually in a bath and you can smell it, it's just a little bit too strong for me. Um, I use it up though, and I'd use it again probably. Um, but if I was going to buy a full-sized molten brown bath and shower gel i just wouldn't go for this one really but yeah i do like the molten brown ones you do get a lot of bubbles and i like like bubbles in a bubble bath so yeah that's really nice and they are very scented i've got another um bath product here this is the white company calm bath shot so this is called a bath shot and i never know whether that means you pour it all in the bath at once so i just do it in two so i literally use it over two baths um this one was really really nice i'm not sure if i'll be able to smell it still oh yeah yeah, they are nice. They just, um, they're kind of like oils and they just add a nice scent to the bath. I don't feel like they're very nourishing, like, on my skin, so I don't really notice anything. But they're nice enough to add to my bath. I probably wouldn't buy them full size, but they look nice in the bathroom and, yeah, it smells nice, makes it smell nice. So, yeah, I would use them again, um, but I won't go out my way to buy them. Okay, so I've got two sets of nails, um, the white ones from last month, which I forgot to tell you about, and then I've got a pink set. So yeah, these are the white ones. So both of these are Elegant Touch, and you can see there's a couple left in there. Now in the set, you get 24 nails, so that's obviously different sizes, so you can definitely find like the sizes that fit you. Um, but what I tend to do is, I find the sizes that fit me perfectly, I wear those, and then I can wear these again, so I can just... If they're a little bit too big, which they tend to be, the ones that are left over, I'll just file them down and I can get another set out of them. So they're not just going in the bin. Um, but with this set, I just haven't bothered. Um, you might have seen in previous videos last month where I was wearing these. I don't know if they've just made them thinner all of a sudden because I was just wearing them and like I just get like a split down the middle and it just crack. Um, and then it just break off. So they just break all the time. So yeah, they just weren't great. It was super sharp then. So I just kept having to take another one out of here and replace the one that had broken. So yeah, they didn't really last that long because they just kept breaking. And it's annoying because I really wanted white ones. I wanted to find some white ones that I could wear all summer because I love white nails in the summer, but they just weren't that. But I, had, I think I bought two sets of them. So I might have another set in my drawer. So I'll, I'll get around to wearing them and just hope that they won't actually break. Um, and then this set was the French 112. Now these, I forgot to put the plastic cover back on the front of that, but they're the ones I had on just before I had these on. And again, they kept snapping. So I don't know if they've just changed the way they make these nails and they just make them thinner now to save money, I don't know. But I've just not been that impressed with the last couple of sets. So I don't know, because I'm not doing anything different, but just not my favorite. You might be able to see them in there actually. I think it's probably easier. And they look really nice. They're just nice and natural looking, but I don't know. But anyway, I've just bought the Elegant Touch, they're called Bear. They're basically like, not any colour. They're just like the plain stick on nails that you can paint any colour. So I've just bought some of those. I'm hoping that they won't be thin. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing my Glamadoo nails now. I did put these on in my vlog, which was a couple of videos ago. Um, and yeah, I've had these on for about two weeks now and I absolutely love them. Really nice design. Okay, let's move on to skincare then. So let's start with the cleansers. So the biggest one here, this is the Inculus Oak Cleansing Balm huge. I've had this in my drawer for ages so I thought I'm gonna 
just get this one out of the way now. Um, and to be honest, it didn't last as long as I thought it would with it being such a big tube. There's 150ml there, and I was using this as a first cleanse and also a morning cleanse. Um, and it was really nice. It smells alright. It cleaned my skin nicely. It was just a really nice cleanser. This is super affordable as well, so I'd definitely get this one again. This was a really nice first cleanse. I don't need any cleansers at the moment. I've got so many. Um, but I did really like that. It was, it was nice and gentle for the morning as well. Um, the next one I finished was the Ren Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. This is one of my faves. I've got like two more of those in that spinny thing up there. Uh, this smells amazing and it just works so well. So it's like a clear jelly and you rub it into your skin and it lathers so nicely. So this is a fab second cleanse for me. I really, really like this one. It's just so good. So yeah, I definitely always rebuy that one. I think I bought it last when there was some discount on Look Fantastic. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that. That's all the cleansers. Okay, so next we've got these salicylic fix pads from Nip and Fab. These took forever to get through as well. So there were 60 pads in here. I got these just after Christmas, I think it was, or just before Christmas, it was Christmas time-ish. Um, I don't use them every night, just every now and again, I'd use one of these pads. Yeah, nice enough pads. Um, I'd use them after cleansing. Um, salicylic acid is meant to help reduce any breakouts and like pore sizes and stuff like that. I don't really get many breakouts, but this was just nice to use every now and again. Probably wouldn't rebuy them because I'd rather use something like the Ren AHA Daily Tonic. Is that what it's called? I can't remember, the orange one or Pixie Glow Tonic, um, and obviously these are pads so it's just not great for the environment but they were nice enough so I used them all. I think I've also got the, what's the orange and blue one called, I can't remember, another like set of these that I got ages and ages ago. Oh it says pads are made from 100% biodegradable fabric, oh that's good to know, okay, so they're not so bad then, but still, yeah, I, I still prefer the other products but um, yeah, they were nice enough. Okay, another kind of toning. Step is the Elmis Apricot Toner. This is one of my faves. I've used this since I was like 18, I think. So yeah, I've used this for many years. Um, I really like this. It's just such a nice toner. I used to spray it onto a little cotton pad and then just wipe it over my face. But what I was doing with this one this time was just spraying it like this and then just patting it in. Um, and yeah, it's just amazing. It smells really nice. It's just a nice toner. Really nice. Yeah, I've got two more full sizes of this. I've moved on recently to the I'm not this over if I reach over here. Uh, rehydrating ginseng toner. So that's probably going to be empty in the June, in my June empties. But yeah, this one's nice as well. I've got a miniature of that. I've got a miniature of the apricot toner as well. I've just got a lot of stuff. So I'm getting through them slowly. Okay, next we've got a product from Falorga. It's the Optimize Lotion Eye Makeup Remover Serum. So this was in a Feel Unique Beauty Bag. It might have been last month. If it is, you can see what it looked like before in that video. This was okay. I tended to use quite a lot when I was putting it on one of those pads to actually take my eye makeup off. So I feel like if I bought the full size of this, it wouldn't last very long. I think I'd probably just choose to use like micellar water to remove my eye makeup instead of buying that or any other product like that. Um, but if I do get them, I will reuse them. It was nice enough. As far as eye makeup removers go, it was nice. It didn't sting my eyes. It did remove the makeup well. But yeah, I think for longer, well, Falorga is quite a pricey brand anyway, so I think that would be quite pricey when you can get micellar water for a fiver. So, yeah, just go for micellar water. Next, we've got a couple of serums. So, first of all, we've got the Caudalie Vinyl Perfect Radiant Serum. I probably say that wrong. Yeah, this little miniature here. Um, I've used this before. It's a nice enough serum. It's very difficult to get the last little bit because it is the glass um, jar and the pipette just doesn't quite reach. I've tipped it up and all sorts. But yeah, I just haven't really got the last bit out. This was nice. I don't really know if it did anything to be honest. It was nice to apply, nice to use every single day. Um, you use it morning and night. I was using it morning and some nights. But yeah, I'm not really sure if I can see any results. I think you need to be using it for a bit longer to see results. But as far as serums go, it was a nice consistency. And yeah, a nice enough serum. Um, another serum I've literally just finished today is from Avance. It's the 8 hour retexturizing and anti-oxidizing hyaluronic facial serum. That's what this one looks like. All Avant packaging looks the same. Um, I do really love Avant products. I would just never buy them for like full price because they're just very expensive and they're in boxes. I can't remember where this was from. Some sort of box or calendar. Um, but it's really, really nice. I did really enjoy using this. It's a really nice, it was kind of like a thin serum texture um, rather than like a creamy consistency. But I really liked it. Yeah, nothing bad to say about it. It's got some good ingredients in it. 
it's just really expensive so yeah I would definitely buy boxes when I, when I see boxes that have a vant in I'll buy them um but yeah I just want I think this is like 80 90 quid or something ridiculous I just can't spend that much money on that I've got an eye serum here this is from I think it's Scientia I want to say um it's the no tox youth boost eye serum uh, to lift plump and brighten this I really like this I can't remember where this came from and I can't get the last little bit out this lasted me I'd say maybe three and a half months yeah this was great I feel like it like it was working really well like it's keeping my under eye area nice and smooth I think was this in a cult beauty something because I feel like it's a cult beauty kind of brand but yeah I really really like this I'd definitely get this one again um, it's a nice lightweight serum like consistency. It sat well under makeup if I was using it in part as part of my morning routine um, So it didn't affect the makeup under my eyes. I used it as a nighttime one as well um, And it's just it was just really nice. I enjoyed using that. You only need the tiniest amounts like one one pump will literally do both eyes. So I did like half a pump copy off did this one then half pump and did the other one um, and yeah just lasts ages it's only 15 mil and eye creams tend to be 15 mil or even less but this seemed to last me a lot longer than regular eye cream so i don't know if it's because it was in a pump and i was using less of it i'm not really sure but yeah really really like that so i'm looking forward to seeing any other products from that brand as well and hopefully i love them just as much and um, we've got another eye cream here this is the elizabeth arden retinol ceramide line raising eye cream anything that's like retinol line raising i'm all over it so I was really, really excited to try this one. This was a little bit strong for me though, which is really strange because I can use retinol like every day and it doesn't affect my skin. But when I use this like two or three days on the run, like around my eye area, it was just getting quite tender and quite pink. So I had to use it one night and then give it many nights off um, before using it again. So yeah, I actually had this open quite a long time to get through it because I just had to keep having breaks. But yeah, I mean, I think it must have been doing a good job, but just a bit strong, I don't know. Weird. Um, what else have we got? I've got a day cream here. This is from LMS. It's the Superfood Day Cream Prebiotic Day Cream. So this was a daytime moisturiser um, that I moved on to before I opened my Sunday Riley one. Yeah, this was nice. I love LMS creams anyway. I'd probably not buy this again, only because if I was going to buy an LMS moisturiser, I'd just go for the marine cream, because um, that's obviously part of the anti-aging range um, and the pro-collagen range. But this was really, really nice. So yeah, I would definitely use this one again. Um, it's not quite fresh, so I think that's because it's like the superfood day cream. Um, and it's got some interesting ingredients as well. But yeah, it was nice. It was nice on my skin. Yeah, nothing bad to say about it at all. I really, really like that. But like I said, it's Elemis. I love all Elemis products. Um, another, another moisturizer, kind of, is this one. This is the Egyptian Magic All Purpose Skin Cream. Little miniature hot here the label's kind of wiped off a little bit this was kind of like it reminded me of like a vaseline kind of cream because it's like an all-purpose one or like dr pawpaw kind of cream consistency gel kind of you know what i mean so like i tried to use this as like a nighttime moisturizer it was just quite quite thick quite nourishing um so i ended up just putting it like if i did like my skincare routine early when i got in bed sometimes i'd just do like a layer of this it was quite thick on my face um, but the next morning my skin felt really really soft so that was nice. I tried using this on my hands as well as like a hand cream. But yeah I wouldn't really buy it again because I don't really know what it's actually doing. And obviously I'm going to bed with like a sticky face so when I'm using my nice silk pillowcases you do kind of stick to them. So yeah not great but yeah it was nice to try. I'm glad I got to try it but it's just not really a product for me. Okay we've got a couple of sunscreens. So the first one is this little miniature from Lancaster the Sun Beauty Velvet Cream SPF 30. Uh, I think this was in the Feel Unique box. Oh, did, I, did I choose this, I think, last, last month, the month before? This little tube, it is just literally a tester, um, but I really wanted to try it. And this was really, really nice. I tried this, it only lasted two uses because it's tiny. I don't think I actually got to try it under makeup. I think I just used it on its own, but it was really, really nice on its own. I'd like to try it again to see how it sits on my skin with the makeup on top, but yeah, this was really, really nice. Um, I would get this one again. It is only SPF 30, whereas um, some other sunscreens are SPF 50. So obviously, try and lean more towards the 50. But that was really, really nice. So I would get that one again. Um, this one is the Dr. Dennis Gross Dark Spot Sun Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This was in the Cult Beauty Sun 
was it called the sun edit last year the sunshine edit and it was a while before i opened this one i'm not really a fan if i'm honest i've almost used it up there's a tiny bit left but it's one of those where i can only use this or i have only been using this on days when i've not been going out so i've done my skincare and then i pop this on and i've stayed in the house because it leaves a white cast like that doesn't go away um and i'm not even sure i was using like enough of it i feel like I should have been using a bit more to be using like the correct amount but even so with what I was using it was just leaving white on my face so like especially like here and like around my brows you could just see white it's like I could go and walk the dog and put my hat down like hoping no one will look at me um but yeah I mean I feel like it was obviously doing the job but I just couldn't really wear it didn't sit well under makeup and just left my face white so yeah that was disappointing but I wouldn't get that one again um, if I received it again in a box, I'd probably see if someone else wants it because it's just not really for me. Um, okay, next we've got a hand cream from Ahava. This is the Mineral Hand Cream. This was in the Feel Unique calendar from last year. This was really, really nice. So when you apply this, it was like, it kind of soaked in quite quickly. It was kind of like an oil-like feeling. It's a little bit, I'd say it felt a little bit greasy, but then it like went away like instantly because it soaks in super fast. So it's quite lightweight and yeah, really, really like this. I would definitely get this one again. I think I've got another I have one to try. Um, but yeah, I really like that one. Okay, we've got two perfumes and then some makeup. So perfume, uh, this is the Far Away Rebel from Avon. I've had this forever. I did have the full size of this and this was like the little one that comes with it. Um, it's meant to smell like, this is meant to smell like Alien, I think. Yeah, I think it's meant to smell like Alien. Um, I stopped doing this ages ago, but I've just had it for forever in my collection so I just thought I'd use it. Um, it is nice. It doesn't last as long as Alien, I wouldn't say. Um, but ones like this, they're meant to be really good for sticking your handbag. I always forget, which is why it's still needed using years after having it. Um, but yeah, it was nice. So I think the full size was about £6 when they had it. So I don't, I think, I don't think they have it anymore. But if they do, it's a nice one. I would get the one again. Um, the other one is this Elizabeth Arden Little Tester. It's always Red Femme Eau de Toilette. This was like um, a perfume subscription and they send you three perfumes every month and this was one of them. I didn't like it. I've had like two sprays out of it. It's just not for me. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe it but that's not it. So that's just going to go because there's no point. I'm not going to use it because I don't like the smell of it. Okay, finally, four makeup products. First up is the Ico Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. This surprised me because I didn't expect to like this because it's an Ico eyeliner and like the fat eye sticks and even the skinny ones, I just, I don't like them really um, because they're like a felt tip nib. But this one is like a brush nib. I don't know if you'll be able to see. But this is amazing. You can get some really precise lines, really precise flicks and it's just so nice to use. Um, I've just opened another one of this, which is the pink one, the Black Magic pink one. Um, this was in the Glossy Looks Advent calendar, I don't know where this was from. Um, it's the same kind of, it's the same pen really, but I don't really know if it's just pink because it was in Glossy Box or I don't know. But yeah, this is amazing. So this is quite similar to the Kat Von D Beauty one, so I would definitely look for this one again. Um, yeah, really, really like this. This is definitely up as one of my favourite eyeliners. I've then finished an eyebrow gel from NYX, it's the Control Freak Gel. Uh, it's quite a big one. It lasted me ages. Um, it is clear, although the brush doesn't look clear anymore because obviously I do it over my powder. Um, but yeah, as far as eyebrow gels goes, that was nice. So I'd definitely have that one again. Um, and then we've got two NARS products. The first one is this concealer. So this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light One Chantilly. Um, so I bought this online. And obviously when you buy things online, you don't know the shades. Um, and yeah, I just went for the little, I think, I don't know if it is the lightest one, but I went for a pretty light one. Um, because I thought it's better to have it too light than too dark, because then my foundation won't cover it up. Um, and it was alright, it's a little bit too light for me, so I probably won't get this one again. Um, as far as like, consistency, um, it was nice, it sits well on my skin, it sits well on top of my foundation, under my foundation. And yeah, so I think it was just the shade that's just not right for me. Yeah, I'm trying a few different ones at the moment, because I'm trying to find a new fave. And then the final product is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Um, this is, okay, it's not quite empty, but I just, it's so difficult to get those last little bits. Um, so yeah, it is empty. Um, this is a classic. I've got, I think I've got a few more of these in my drawer, the miniatures. 
Um, it's a really, really nice shade. Definitely one of my faves and I would always reuse this one. I think it's just a good, safe bronzer to go for and a really nice colour. So yeah, I really like this one. I know it's definitely one of the more popular ones and I really like it as well. Okay guys, so those are all my empties that I've used in May. Um, if you have used any of these products, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let's have a chat about these. Are any of these products your faves, any that you don't like, which I said I like, let me know all of your thoughts. Um, and yeah, we'll have a chat about the products. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Um, I do this every single month um, and I like to review lots of different products. Each month as well, I'm keeping my faves um, and popping them in a box. And at the end of the year, I'm going to look back and do my faves of 2022. Um, so yeah, let's see if any of these make it into the fade box. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in another video.